This was a really hot weekend day. It was just an ordinary weekend, going swimming with my friends. But as Stephen Wald and his kids discovered, the ordinary can quickly turn hazardous. And uh, gathered the kids together and uh, asked the neighbor, Daniel, to join us. And we got our bikes and we went biking up towards Crystal Lake Pool. There's a play structure with water cannons, little slides, and a big bucket that fills up with water and dumps out. You hold your breath and you go, like, touching the bottom of the slide, like, into that pool in the bottom of the slide, like, underwater. It's super fun. We rode our bikes there. We got there. We had five minutes in the pool before there was thunder. So every time we hear thunder or lightning, we have to clear the pool for 30 to 45 minutes, and everyone has to head up onto deck. And then after the 30 to 45 minutes, we reopen the pool area. If we hear another thunder or lightning within that 30 to 45 minutes, we ask that everyone remains clear of the water and we wait 30 minutes from the last time we heard the thunder or saw the lightning. There was another half an hour wait, so we decided we would just bike home rather than wait another half an hour to see the same thing happen again. Without knowing the weather forecast, they had no idea they'd made a dangerous decision to head home on their bicycles. So we went over, went over to our bikes and um, started the bike ride home. And again, it's about a 15 minute trip. But at that point, the second storm was, was moving in pretty rapidly and the sky was, was getting very, very dark. And uh, I remember being a little bit nervous. A branch of the tree fell down, cut a power line. Then the power line in flames was dragging across the parking lot when it came to rest and then it exploded. Orange flame. Boom. It was like one bolt of lightning, but all put together in like one flash. It was hard to look at. It was, it was extremely bright. You almost had to avert your eyes. Uh, and it, at first I was confused about whether that had been a lightning flash or was the power line snapping, and I think it was the flash from the electricity. I think this was a wind onto a branch, branch onto the power line, and then the snapping power line. Uh, but there was an immediate humming sound and smoke, and it was like a sparkler. As a parent, Steve's protective instincts took over. I knew it was safer inside even than on a porch. So we knocked on the door, and, and, uh, and she opened up her, up her house, and I explained, hello, you have some unexpected visitors. <laughs> We're here to take shelter from the storm. During a break in the storm, they bike those final blocks home, around the hazardous area. And my dad says, don't touch the fences. And I'm like, well, why? And he's like, well, the electricity flows through the metal and it could be here, so we shouldn't touch the fences. They know the situation could have ended tragically and are so thankful that it didn't and they want to share their experience to help educate and keep others safe. It was just a hot day and the temptation of that pool, um, you know, really had me in the wrong frame of mind. That said, when we, when we finally were on our way home, um, that storm came up really quick. Um, and it didn't occur to me because we were pretty close. And this was just three blocks from our house. Um, so it can happen, it can happen anywhere. Safe Electricity wants you to know how to stay safe and not get caught in a storm. Be proactive in keeping an eye on the weather so that you can plan to be inside if a storm is headed your way. If you can't be in an enclosed building, take shelter in an enclosed vehicle with a hardtop roof. And if you do see a downed power line, stay far away, instruct others to do the same, and call 911 and your utility immediately. I would. Uh... Uh, advise parents just to remember uh, you may not see it you may not hear it but if you see a downed line assume it's hot and stay very far away from it I learned that electricity if it just hits one part it can spread out a lot and I also learned that if you're with an adult and you think or see a storm you should ask them to check their phone to see if there's a storm. We were mostly thinking about traffic when we're out biking as our risk factor. But in this case, getting caught in the storm, uh, you know, really did turn out to be a risk. And if our timing was a little bit different, um, our route took us just exactly by 
where the power line was down. So that was, that was quite frightening. Don't let a storm catch you off guard. And give TLC to those you care about by sharing these life-saving lessons with others.